Hello guys and welcome to another video. Wow, so many bigot wheels are released, it's hard to keep up. The UC market seems to want high speed powerful suspension wheels and the X30 is definitely one of them. Let's review the specs and then I will tell you what I like and don't like about that wheel. First, shout out to Jason and E-Wheels for providing this demo wheel and making this video possible. The X30 looks a lot like the Master. It's a 20 inch tire wheel, there is no shell, the battery packs are attached around the skeleton of the wheel, and around them you have stock pads. The top of the wheel is covered by foam, which can serve also as a seat if you are not too tall. The top of the EX30 also integrates a display, which oddly has three digits, but more on this later. The EX30 is also equipped with a trolley handle, which is the same as the Master. Under this trolley handle, you can find two charge ports. At the back of the wheel, you can find a rear light, the suspension shocks, a fender, and a kick stand. This electric unicycle is equipped with a powerful high torque C40 motor and it has a wider rim. It's also a 134 volt wheel. The battery capacity of the wheel is 3600. It means a lot of range. The EX30 is also delivered with spiked pedals. These are new ones by Bigod. Unfortunately, I could not test them as this demo wheel was equipped with the ERATS pedals. On a side note, these ERATS pedals are, in my opinion, one of the best pedals I've ever tested. They are really grippy and it can be very useful in wet conditions. Before going with what I like about the wheel, let me start first with what I don't like. I don't like the shape and look of the wheel. This is just a personal opinion. I got what I call the Master Fatigue. After riding the Master, the Master Pro, seeing the T4, I feel like Big God is just recycling the design of the Master and nothing else. I would have liked to see something different for once. The top cover of the wheel will scratch very easily and I'm sure during a crash it's gonna go on the spot. The wheel looks a bit unfinished. With that concept of battery packs around a skeleton of a wheel, you can see cables across the wheel and it doesn't scream safety. The display of the wheel shows three digits for the speed. I don't really get why, because while riding, the top speed will never have three digits whether it's in kilometers or miles. So I don't really get the point of this. Again, just looking at the wheel, to me, it feels unfinished. Unfinished, but extremely powerful. All right, let's go now with what I like about the EX30. The wheel is very powerful. You don't need to push it a lot to go. After doing speed test on the V13, which is a very hard wheel to push, the X30 feels very refreshing. It doesn't need a lot of efforts to go. The potential top speed of the wheel is quite high, and I think it can go definitely faster than a master. As you could see on this video, I have hit 53 miles per hour and the PWVM didn't even hit 80%. This is absolutely crazy. Do you need to be a speed demon to enjoy this? No. It just means that you will have a lot of headroom when riding in traffic. And this for an electric unicycle is really appreciated. I must say that versus the C38 motor of the Master, the X30 is a bit more harder to push, but not at the scale of a 22 inch tire wheel. The torque of the EX30 is there, and it's quite good. It's just not as easily accessible as with the Master. Another thing I like about the EX30 is the lower center of gravity of the wheel, inducing a great stability at low and high speed. The battery packs of the wheel are very low, the pedals are also lower, and this is very welcome. Usually suspension wheels have very high pedals and I've never got used to it. With the EX30, this problem is fixed. I also like the suspension of the EX30. You can set it very stiff and it will never bottom out. I felt that the suspension was performing well and I wouldn't change the shock of the wheel. 
Of course, you cannot compare this suspension versus the one on the Sherman S, but the one on the EX40 is good as is. The stock pads of the EX40 are not bad at all. I don't like to feel locked when riding, and these ones are not bad. Of course, this is a personal test depending on the rider, but what I can say about these stock pads is that they provide a great protection for the wheel, and they integrate front and back bumpers. So, if you can ride with these pads, you won't need to buy expensive 3D printed accessories. Surprisingly, I like the stock tire of the EX30. When I first saw the wheel and noticed the word, the brand CST on the tire, I started to feel very worried. I remembered my first ride with the Master equipped with its stock CST Nobby tire and how this tire made the ride feel absolutely bad. However, the one on the EX30 feels very different. It actually reminds me of the one that is on the Sherman S. You can carve on it and it won't drop you. Honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised by this. At last, a stock tire on a big hot wheel that you won't need to change out of the box. The X30 is also very nimble. When riding, you don't feel the weight at all. The lower center of gravity of this EUC also helps a lot. So we discussed what I like and don't like about the wheel. Now, should you get this EUC? If you prioritize power and speed, absolutely yes. The X30 will really deliver in that respect. It is equipped also with a great suspension, and this is something that is not to be underestimated. The wheel is quite great to ride, BUD included with the wheel everything you need to start riding out of the box, and that's a lot of progress when you compare with the master, where you needed to change the tire, add fairings, add bumpers, and change the suspension. With the X30, you can just unbox the wheel and go ride. That being said, if you are looking for a wheel that feels like a finished product, I don't think the X30 will be for you. When I compare the looks of this EUC versus a Sherman S or a V13, it's day and night. That wheel design screams work in progress. When you look at the bigger wheels from the Master to the EX30, you can see that every new iteration benefits from the findings and errors of the previous wheels. So I can't help but think that there will definitely be a new iteration after this. And I'm just wondering about the support of this work in progress wheels in two to three years. However, the EX30 is still a great wheel, very powerful with an excellent suspension, and I think it's going to be a nice success for Bigot. That's all I got for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I see you next time.